year old boy dies in a shootout outside of the Bogalusa homecoming football game Friday night in the final few minutes of play tonight. As police are still looking for those involved, we hear from people who were there, including Mayor Wendy Perrette, who says she's disgusted. left in the game of the week for our Fox 8 sports team focused on yet another amazing touchdown for the Lumberjacks while not too far from where they stood gunfire erupted. <laughs> Bringing the joyous celebration to an abrupt end Mari, a memorable night. Don't say our community we need to be prayed for something need to be done so much killing murder is going on for the young youth. In 2002, this was something you would never forget, our homecoming guy. It's just unbelievable. I can't believe it's happened. Terrified for her child in the stands with her, Kalisha Hollifield was one of the many celebrating their class reunions at the homecoming game, including Mayor Wendy Perrette. When I heard the shots, it was, you know, I thought maybe it might be black cats, and then I saw people coming, and I knew immediately what was taking place. And I immediately was like, why? 15 to 20 shots in what police say was a gun battle between the 15 year old and two other unknown suspects next to the field house. EMS tried to revive the 15 year old, but he never regained consciousness and was pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital. I'm disgusted that these individuals have came into our city uninvited and created havoc once again. Perrette and police say the 15 year old was from Covington, had a criminal record and a warrant out for his arrest. We need to stand together and to continue to support our lumberjacks and not let these fools run, run things for us. They don't dictate, we dictate. We have more good people than we do bad people and we'll outweigh them easily. After a wave of retaliatory violence over the summer, there was a conflict with a neighboring town over not wanting to come play in Bogalusa, but it's been resolved and security at the games has been beefed up. Perrette says they have a violent crime task force in town made up of law enforcement from around the region. She says it saddens her that a family is no longer whole due to this, but we have to be better with our youth. I'm thankful that it wasn't one of our students, one of our kids, because we do have great children, and I do want my Lumberjacks to know that they have played a great season, and they will continue to play, and we will continue to support them. They deserve that support and love, because our kids, they are, they're really shining out there for us in Bogalusa. Right now, detectives are reviewing video evidence and tell me they're following good leads, but they're still looking for anyone with any information to come forward. Either call Bogalusa's detective division or leave an anonymous tip with Crime Squad.